Goal here is to show you guys all the cool features that Batch 3.0 has to offer. Now, I've been using Batch Leads for two, maybe even two years now. I started with Batch Skip Tracing, and then I started using Batch Leads, and then I got hooked on Batch Driven, and then most recently, I've been using Batch Dialer. Before we get started, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm going to do a quick one or two minute intro. My name is David Dodge, and I really, really appreciate you all coming today to learn more about this 3.0 release of Batch Leads. I've been investing in real estate. I'll be 38 years old on Saturday. Believe that? It's craziness. But I've been investing in real estate since I was 20 years old. I started when I was in college. I bought a rental property that I moved into. I did what's called house hacking. I rented out some of the other rooms, and that's really where I got started. So I've been in the business for about 18 years, but I've only been doing this full time for about seven or eight years. And I know that's that's a good amount of time, but it's not that long. Uh, the first 10 years, I was doing it very passively. I had different jobs and small businesses, and none of those are really that lucrative or really that successful. So about seven, eight years ago, I decided, you know what? I want to be a full time real estate investor. How is it that there's people out there that you know can own a hundred houses? Like it took me 10 years to get to 10, and I'm I'm thinking, man, to get to 100 is going to take me 100 years. Well, guys, it doesn't have to. In fact, as of today, I own, what do I own? I own about 105 units. That consists of about 60 single family homes that I rent out. And I have an additional 45 apartment units. And I have 67 unit under contract right now. Um, I just bought a duplex. I have three or four houses under contract. I just got a house under contract about an hour ago, actually. So, you know, I'm really active in this business. I love buying rentals. I love using the Burr method. I love fixing, flipping properties for big profits. In fact, I have one of the best fix and flips that I've ever bought under contract right now. And I'm hoping to make $110,000 on this one fix and flip. So I love the rentals. I love the Burr method. I love the fix and flip. And I love wholesaling. But guys and girls, check this out. None of those things would be possible without finding a motivated seller, all right? The thing about real estate investing is you make your money when you buy, you get paid when you sell. So it is so incredibly important that we understand that we have to buy right. We have to buy deals, discounted deals in order to make money in this business. If we want to fix and flip or wholesale or wholetail or you know, acquire rentals and add those to our portfolio. All of those things are going to be very difficult to do if we aren't getting good deals. Well, how do we find and make good deals in real estate? We buy these properties right, okay? We make our money when we buy. We actually get paid when we sell, but the money isn't made when we sell. It's made when we buy buy. So we got to learn how to buy properties at massive discounts. And when I say massive discounts, I mean, I'm typically buying properties at anywhere from 50 to 65 cents on the dot on the dollar on average. Now that's going to vary a little bit from property to property. But typically speaking, when we are buying properties, we're buying these properties between 50 and 65 cents on the dollar each and every time we go to buy some properties. So let me share my screen with you all really quickly and we can dive in. This is all about Batch Leads 3.0, the new release. And they just released this yesterday. So I am super, super excited to be able to present this to you. This is a game changer. So in a nutshell, what are the new features before we start sharing our screen? It's very simple. Uh, I told you a second ago that I'm a power user on Batch. I love it. You know, in, in my career over the last eight years, I've done about a thousand transactions. That equates to roughly about a hundred properties a year that my business is buying, which equates to two or three a week on average. So basically every two or three days, I'm buying or selling a house. You guys can do this too. I'm not special. All right. Batch Leads is actually one of my most favorite softwares, but it's actually like one of my like secrets on how I'm able to get so much information on property and data and reach out to sellers. I mean, it's changed my life. So what is the batch 3.0? It's really a merger of two of their products, a merger between batch leads and batch driven. It's very, very cool. So there's about five or six key features that they've added. Uh, but the main thing is, is that they've merged these two software. So if you are a subscribed to Batch Leads and Batch Driven, 
you will no longer need batch driven after about a week from now. And the reason I say that is, is because they merged these together and they just rolled this out last night at like seven or eight o'clock. I mean, basically today's the first day, but in order for the mobile app to update, they had to submit that to, you know, Apple and to Google. And that process may take a couple of days. So by about this time next week, these two products will be fully merged and 90% of it's already done as of right now. The only thing that's not here today um, is the new mobile app updates. Uh, but again, I can I can show you some of that stuff today. So some of the new things are the in-app click to dial, which is really, really cool. The virtual driving for dollars, which I was actually playing with last night on my couch while I was watching TV with my wife. And it is cool. Super, super slick. There's a supercharged mobile app, which again, I mentioned that's going to take a couple days to roll out. They've already submitted it. They're just waiting on approval. But, you know, any day now that should be here. Uh, there's lead scoring, which is brand new. And then there's simpler tab names, which is just makes navigating much, much more easy. And then there's also the team plans and the workspaces. It's incredible. So enough of me talking, guys. Again, I apologize for being late, but let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to select the window here. Batch leads. This is it. Okay, awesome. Just want to make sure that this is being shared. It looks like it is. Let me know in the comments that you can see my screen, everybody, please. And thank you. Also, if you are new to batch leads, guys, there is a special discount code that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to drop this in the chat and it is batchleads.io forward slash Dave. If you guys use this link and or coupon code Dave when signing up, you're going to get a free 1000 seller or buyer leads included with your seven day free trial. So it's kind of a no brainer, tons of property data, interactive map. There's the cash buyers list. It is incredible. So use that link so you guys can get and take advantage of not only that seven day free trial, but you can also take advantage of the 1000 leads. You can use them for seller leads. You can use them for buyer leads, whatever you decide that you want to do. All right. So let's jump on in guys. This is what batch leads looks like. Uh, it looks like Brandon says, yes, we can see it. Do you know the if the daily SMS limit will change? Good question, Jeff. We are going to get to that in just a second here. So as you guys can see, you know, I've added over 170,000 properties. This is my dashboard. I'm on my homepage here. And of those properties, 17,000 of those are vacant. That's about 10%. I've had about 10,000 of them opt out from my marketing. And I've skip traced over 155,000 properties within my batch account. Again, I'm a power user. I've been using this for, you know, about two years. So it is just simply incredible. You can see here on the homepage that they have the ability to list stack. And if I hover over these little slivers right here, it might be, might be a little difficult to catch one of these here, but there it is. I have two properties on 13 different lists. And if I go over to 14, there's one, but on 12, there's three. And if I go over here to eight, I can get it. There's 127 properties that are on eight or eight lists within my system. Even the two or three or four list, the four list has 5,783 properties. So the list stacking feature is incredible. Don't you all think that you're going to have a pretty good chance of buying a property from somebody that's on seven or eight or nine or 10 lists. These lists could be divorced. They could be vacant. They could be absentee owned. They could be high equity all of the things that we are essentially looking for when we are trying to find motivated sellers. So the list stacking is incredible. You can also see, you know, different demographics and, and campaign statuses and all types of cool stuff right here, which is phenomenal. Uh, you also have a property search and this basically replaced prop, prop stream. So like, for example, if I was to type in, you know, 4242 Walsh, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. This is a rental property that I own. I can, I can type in any address in the nation and I can find the properties, right? So this is a property that I own over here at 4242 Walsh. Um, you can see that it's owned by rainy days, LLC. That's one of my entities. And if I wanted to skip trace this, I could do so here. Now with this being an LLC, I don't know if it's actually going to be able to pull this up. Usually it's LLCs, it's you know 50% of the time, give or take. But let's just give it a shot. So this is how easy it is to pull up a property in batch leads, type in an address, find it, and skip trace it. And holy cow, look at that. I was able to skip trace it 
And there are some numbers in this list that belong to me and my partner. I'm not going to highlight those for you all today, but skip tracing is that simple with one click. Not only that, you guys can see a ton of information here. You can see what the estimated value is. Is there any open mortgages on the property? Bunch of characteristics. You can even run comps. And this copying feature is only a couple months old here in Batch Leads, but it is incredible. Personally, I'm not an agent or a broker. So I don't even have access to the MLS, but via batch leads, I do have access to the MLS nationwide access. And you guys can have access to it's incredible. You can see sale and loan information, tax information, MLS data, foreclosure and lien, as well as owner property profiles, which is incredible. So that's the property search feature and the property search feature will allow you to search by location you can do a city a state a county you can even do a zip code so the zip code i live in is 63131 if i click that and search you can see there's 7000 properties within that zip code and then if i want to go and i want to filter these properties down i can do so by clicking this filter box right here i can say hey you know i only want to see properties in this area that are absentee owned i can click in state or out of state or i can click both and then I can click apply. And now it's going to go from 7,000 properties down to 1,000 properties. So when I'm marketing to find these deals, I mentioned earlier, I like to buy rentals. I like to fix and flip. I love wholesaling. I'm not just going to go pull a list of properties. I'm going to pull a list of properties that I think are going to have owners that are going to have some level of distress. So what's a good way to do that? Well, maybe absentee owners, you can do vacant properties, you can do high equity, you can do off market, you can do pre foreclosure, you can do properties that have liens, you can do tire landlords Look here at the bottom, at the very, very bottom here, you can see there's a quick list. And that quick list is, you know, expired listing unknown equity, you can see the free and clear properties, you can see the the company owned properties, you can see the absentee owned, you can see inherited properties. You can even find cash buyers or tired landlords. All of these different options are great options. I never suggest to any of my students or any of my you know, friends in this business to just go pull a list of property owners without filtering in and out some of these things. I love absentee. I love vacant. And in fact, of the thousand, roughly thousand transactions that I've done in the last eight years, 75% of those properties that I've bought, 75%, that's 750 properties in the last eight years, roughly, have either been absentee owned or vacant. So if you guys are looking for a list to pull right out the gate and you don't know what that list should be, I would highly recommend getting an absentee owned or a vacant property list because those lists are going to be your bread and butter. Next, you can use the My List feature. You can filter this and you can see all the different properties that you may have in your system. And then, of course, a skip tracing. Batch leads, I mean, these features here aren't even new. I'm just giving you guys a high level of this if you haven't been in batch yet. This is amazing. The, these, the skip tracing is incredible. I have a 92% hit rate since I started using this, right? It's amazing. Just the last 90 days, I've had almost 10,000 skip traces. I've only spent $300. And the cool thing is, is they have this thing called match savings. And if I click here and I highlight the savings, sometimes I'll run a list and I'll save, look at this one. I saved $900 on my skip tracing. And the reason is, is the more you use this, you can see I have seven different pages of skip tracing down here. The more you use this software, the better it gets because it doesn't charge you to skip trace a lead that you already own. I got to say that one more time, guys. This is so incredibly important. It doesn't charge you to skip trace a lead that you already own. In this scenario, I put in 11,000 leads from Deal Machine. We also use different softwares like Deal Machine and other things. And of those, 11,000 were hits, but 9,000 of them were already in my system. So it didn't charge me that $900 for these 9,000 leads that I already had the data for. It only charged me $200 for the difference, the leads that I didn't already own. So the match savings and the skip tracing is literally one of my favorite features. It's probably my favorite feature because, you know, this right here covers the cost of my software for three months or more. 
It's amazing. The match savings is incredible. All right. Next, you're going to have campaigns. As you can see, there's SMS campaigns and there's direct mail campaigns. I'm just getting started using the direct mail campaigns, but I love using the SMS campaigns because it is so incredibly easy. Now, Brandon had a question a minute ago and he said, let's see here. He said, is the daily SMS limit? Will that change right now? They have that done to, I, th I think it's a thousand. And the only way to up that is to would essentially be to create another workspace, which you can do right here in workspaces or even have another account. So unfortunately, they don't let you do more than that. My account used to be grandfathered in with 3000, but I, even, even with that grandfather, I wasn't using that. So I just, I went ahead and changed my plan and I'm also at a thousand and a thousand is more than enough for me. So, you know, hopefully you can make that work. That's a really, really good question. Fred says, I found that batch MLS data does not match my local Dallas NTREIS MLS data in many cases. This includes sale prices. Have you seen that? You know, I have not seen that, Fred. That's a good question. Um, here's the thing about MLS data. I can tell you this. MLS data. I, at one time, wanted to basically create a software like Batch Leads and, and, and PropStream is another, you know, Good, good place for for data. Of course, I prefer batch over prop stream, but they but they have data, right? And the problem is, is that the MLS isn't one company. It's not one service. In fact, there's 742 different MLS zones within the United States. 742 of them. So these dagger aid aggregators are essentially getting the data from 742 different places. And not all of these places are going to, you know, push that data out in the exact, you know, method in the exact pattern. So sometimes there may be delays in that data. Now, there are states, I believe there's 11 of them that are non-disclosure. I'm in a non-disclosure state and I run comps with the MLS from Batch Leads and I have no hiccups. And I'm not a big virtual wholesaler type of guy. I do some deals like that from time to time. But even when I'm doing, you know, running comps in different counties, different states, different cities, whatever it may be, the data is pretty good, I have to say. So I have not seen that, unfortunately, Fred. Sorry that you're having that issue. Uh, but anytime I want to go run comps, it works great for me here in St. Louis, Missouri, where I live and operate and work. Um, so, you know, that that's awesome. Brandon says, what mark, what makes the difference from property shark or property radar? Here's the thing. I don't even know the difference between those other two because I've never used them. Batch is the best for me. It's always worked. It is amazing. And, and now that they have this 3.0 where they've merged batch driven and batch leads together. I mean, there is no other, um, there's no other marketing channel or subs or software that does this many things, at least that I know. So that's a great question. I couldn't answer that because I don't use those other ones. I use Batch. Batch is amazing. I love Batch. All right, let's get back into the webinar here. I'm going to share my screen with you all once again. Let's find the correct window. Here we go. And we are rocking. Okay, so one of the coolest new features is the driving routes. Now, I mentioned that the mobile app and you can see I did a couple little examples last night just right here. So one of the cool things, if I want to go do 63144, this is the zip code that my office is located in. And I wanted to put myself on the map. I can do so just like this. And all of a sudden, I am virtually driving $4. I can click this little button right here and I can actually start. You can see it turn green. And now I can actually virtually drive for dollars. And let's go over here into a neighborhood that I'm familiar with. My office is right up here, maybe about two or three miles. Let's say I wanted to go back into this neighborhood here. And I wanted to find a property like this one right here, right? Or one of these down the way. And I could say, hey, you know, this one looks like it could use a little bit of work. I can click on this and I can save this property. And I can actually create a new list. And I'll call this uh, virtual D4D. And I'll create a new tag, virtual D4D. And I can go ahead and I can save that. So now that property will be saved. And you can see I've got one saved in there. And I can go and I can just keep doing this. So this is actually a really, really great tool because sometimes I have virtual assistants that may need or may not have enough to do. 
And I say, hey, go into Batch and just virtually drive for dollars. I'll give them some zip codes. I'll give them some some areas that I want them to drive for. And not not all the time will 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 Google have been in these neighborhoods. Like not you know they're not in these neighborhoods every day. But what I've found is recently they've been in most of these you know mainstream areas within the last year or two. So the data that you're getting, like the picture of these properties, is actually pretty pretty recent. Now it does vary from time to time. Here's another one. And I can click on this and I can save this property just like that. I'm gonna select a, and look at all the lists I've got guys. I've, I am a power user in here. So I'm gonna type in virtual D for D. It's down here at the bottom. I'm gonna create uh, an existing tag and that's also gonna be my virtual D for D. And I'm gonna save those things. Now, why would you wanna be able to save that every time? Because you may wanna add those to different lists or have different tags that you may add. Maybe your tag is, you know, boarded up windows, or maybe your tag is a broken down car in the driveway. Also, additionally, if I wanted to contact this property owner, just for my virtual D4D, D, I can click on view details, and it's gonna take you to the page that we saw earlier. If I wanna skip trace this individual, I can do so. I just like to add all these individuals just to a random little list here, but I can skip trace these individuals, and boom, just like that, I have a phone number and or an email address. Now check this out guys. This is actually one of the new features, right? The virtual driving for dollars. But also one of the cool new features is the click to dial. So I can actually click right here and it says ready to call. And I can click right here once this is, it may not let me do this since I'm on a live stream. I was using this last night and it was working. It's probably not gonna let me do it because I'm live streaming. But I can click call now if I wasn't live streaming and all of a sudden it's gonna start dialing that number. And then what I can do is I can say, hey, you know, I'm looking for Terry. Is Terry available? And I can say, hey, Terry, I own some properties in the area and I'm looking to buy a few more. Do you have any interest in selling this one at 8769? What is that? Magdalene Avenue? And maybe I get Helen. Maybe I get Helen. You never know. But regardless, I'm going to try to reach out to these individual property owners from a skip trace like I did. And I'm going to see if they have interest in selling. I can see an estimated value. I can even see a mortgage amount, 93000 Look at that. I can go in and I can run comps on the fly while I am on the phone. And I can say, you know, I see that this that, that some of the other properties, let's, let's do it real quick. In the last six months, um, I don't really care about the year built so much, but I only want to see the sold property. So I'm going to take off the active and the pending and I want to do six months. And I also like to take my my uh, my proximity down to maybe about a quarter mile. Let's go ahead and let's filter that. So now I'm looking at six months, quarter mile. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see I have a bunch of comps. Look at this. And I can see that this sold for seven or for 300, 217, 3, 313, 133, 255. So I can say, hey, this is a good comp. This is a good comp. This is a good comp. And now over here, you can see that I have an estimated value based on my comps. Up at the top, it says 273. And again, I just did this from a fly. Maybe that's not the best comp. Maybe this is a better comp. And as I do that, it adjusts. So the estimated value is 273. But based on my comps, I'm seeing 260. So now it's going to be very, very easy for me to turn around and make an offer to Mr. Terry or, or Miss Helen in this scenario. So right here from the driving for dollars, you can do this virtually. And I often have my virtual assistants do this driving for dollars for me when they don't have a whole lot of other things to do. It is very, very, very fluid, very, very user friendly. You can do this from a, uh, uh, you know, a desktop. You can do it from a laptop. You can even do this from an iPad. Now, batch driven. Again, I'm a power user of batch driven and batch leads, but I'm going to probably get rid of batch driven within the next week or two once the app rolls out because all these features right here that's in batch driven they've merged into batch leads there's our driving routes right there it's phenomenal you can see also let's go ahead and let's end this driving for dollars we're going to stop and we're going to save and you're also going to see over here on the right side oh look at this it gives you a little thing you did 0.42 miles you added two houses and you spent five minutes and 28 seconds in here driving for dollars. So if you have a team of people, you can see what they're doing. You can track the results of your team, your virtual assistants. You can see how many leads they added. And you can also see any incomplete drives. Now, the mobile app will sync 
with this just like batch driven had this screen here in the excuse me the mobile app for batch driven you don't need that anymore they're actually going to be dis discontinuing batch driven probably in about six months they're not in a big hurry but there's no reason to sign up for batch driven because you can just use batch leads at this point so you can see these and if i click on these look at this you can even go in and you can see where i went you can see last night i was playing around i just went up and down the street and even before that, I was just kind of looking around. So you can see all of these routes. So if you want to keep an eye on your team or your employees or your partner or whoever is doing this with you, you can see what they did and what properties they added, which is awesome. Or you can just use this to keep track of your own driving for dollars. Now, notice it says virtual right here. If I was actually going to be using the new app, which again should be released, we're hoping Monday or Tuesday of next week, but it could be sooner. You can actually use the mobile app to go drive for dollars as well. So it's really, really, really awesome. Inbox, this is one of the coolest parts of Batch Leads. You can use this to respond to all of your campaigns and all of your text messages. You're going to send those campaigns from your SMS area right here. But this is where you are actually going to want to respond to these messages you can see how easy and how, how fluid this is i can take notes i can create tasks if i want to get more information about one of these property owners that text me back i can click on the address and then boom we're right back into this area i can run comps i can see when the property was last sold what the estimated value is i mean the data in here is incredible i can mark these leads as warm or cold or danger or dead or whatever it may be i can add to a list i mean this is truly the coolest marketing software for real estate investors that i have ever seen in my 18 years of investing it's incredible you can also go down here and you can run reports they just added the d4d D kpis which is sweet so you can see I've got two properties added, which I just added with you all, uh, how many miles I've driven. And then you can even do it by route or by driver or by lead status or by members. You can see Mike and Dennis and Travis. These are my team members. So if I was to have Dennis or Travis go do some driving for dollars, you know, we could click on that and we could actually see the, the routes. We could see the number of properties that each individual person has added with the D4D D KPIs. You can see direct mail KPIs. You can see import and export KPIs. And then you can see an SMS. So over the last month, as you can see, I clicked month here. We've sent 16,878 uh, messages. We've received about 3,000 of those. We haven't done this for a couple days. Um, but as you can see, and if I were to go to the year, we've sent 178,000 text messages. That may not be a lot to some of you, but that is a lot to me. We're typically averaging about 700 to 1,000 each and every day. So it is incredible. So guys, we have touched on the virtual driving for dollars. The in-app click to dial, I showed you, it's not going to let me do it because I'm live streaming and I have a bunch of stuff going on. But if I wasn't live streaming to you all right now, you click that that uh, at that phone number. So I can just go into my own lists and I can pull up any of these. Let's, let's pull up this particular property right here. And I could click this. Let's try it one more time. And you can see ready to call. And again, I'm live streaming. It's not going to let me do it. Oh, wait, click here to test your devices. Maybe that's it. Oh, yep, I'm live streaming. We'll come back to that. But I was doing this last night. I was testing this last night and I was calling myself from properties that I own and it was ringing my cell phone and I can talk right to my computer. I mean, it just makes this so incredibly simple. So we have the virtual driving for dollars. We covered that. The in-app click to dial. Amazing. The ability to skip trace right here. The supercharged mobile app, again, will be out next week. And that is the batch driven all of the cool features of batch driven merged into batch leads which is incredible now they also updated a lot of the um information in here with you know your your tabs they've cleaned all this up so you can see your phone number management your sms templates and you can see all the different templates in here it's very very simple here's your quick replies you have a do not call manager you have different markets we mainly market in st louis that's where we live and that's where we buy most of our our properties you can see lead score now this is one of the new features i haven't even had a chance to play with this but this is really cool you can go in here and you can add rules so i can say hey anybody that's in the county that is having and i can say saint 
Lewis County. I want to add, and then I can add a rule and I can create a bunch of these different rules. So anybody that, and then you can give it a point. So I can say anybody that, you know, is having it within a county of St. Louis, I want to add three points to that lead. And then over time, you can create a bunch of these. I can say, hey, if the property is year built, guys, this is the buy box. Are you seeing that? This is the buy box. So I can say, hey, if it was, you know, is is greater than or less than, let's, let's say is greater than, and we say, you know, 1985, oops. 1985, you know, then I want to add five points. And let's say I want to add another one. Let's say that I want to do year built is less than 1965. Oh, I forgot my nine, 1965. Then I want to subtract three points over here. Oh, you got to go up with that. Subtract three. And over time, as you're pulling your list, it'll start scoring these leads, which is, I'm going to go ahead and save that actually, because that's actually pretty good right there. I like that. But not only do you get your, your list stacking, which is going to help you determine people that are going to be on multiple lists like vacants and absentees and high equities and off market and so on and so forth. You can also go in and you can use your lead scoring, which you're going to find in profile and lead scoring. So you can go in here and you can modify this and you can add and subtract points. And then whenever you're going into your list here, you should be able to see that lead score, which is awesome. And then last but not least, they have workspaces. So you can see here that if we go into... Well, it would actually be in billing. I can click on team basic and my plan is I'm going to go into pricing here. The plan that I go with is the personal plus. So I only get one workspace. So I can't demonstrate that for you today because I only pay for one. But if you have a big team, you can have up to five workspaces for 600 a month or up to 10 workspaces, which basically gives you 20 users for 900 a month. So what would be the purpose of having these workspaces? Well, the purpose would be maybe you want to have a workspace for a buy box of buying rentals. Maybe you want to have a workspace for a buy box of, of, of finding good fix and flips, or maybe you have a workspace for your motivated seller marketing. Maybe you have a workspace for your cash buyers list. You can even get a smaller plan here, one workspace, two users for as little as 99 bucks a month. And if you buy the annual package, you can save a good chunk of change. So the workspaces is a really, really cool feature. And you can also see in here, there's data management, there's SMS settings, there's all these different features in here, but this is so incredibly easy to use. So the coolest thing that I am the most excited about guys would be the click to dial. I'll be able to click to dial when I'm in my list. And again, I'm live streaming right now, so it's not going to let me do that to demonstrate. Uh, but I was using it last night. I can promise you that it works. It works very smoothly. And I click the link just like that. And I click call now and it will start ringing the individual property owner. Right. That's very cool. I also love the driving routes and the virtual driving for dollars. So let's say I was virtually investing in Atlanta, Georgia, right? I can click in here. I can search. It's going to take me to Atlanta. And let's say that I like this northeastern part of town, maybe up here by, you know, North Druid Hills. Looks like a good spot, right? I grab my little guy. I find right here and I put him right where I want. And all of a sudden I am virtually driving for dollars in Atlanta, Georgia. Look how sweet this is. Here's one that's got a sign in the yard. Is that a for sale by owner? Nope. Looks like it might be a an agent, right? But any for sale by owner is a great thing. Oh, look at this. Here is a for sale by owner property. I got to go back so I can see it right here or for rent. So this would be a great property to call and say, Hey, I see you have this property listed for rent. I'm actually not looking to rent this one. I'm actually looking to buy it. Do you have interest in selling it? You know how many times I've bought a property from calling a landlord and saying, hey, I'm not necessarily interested in renting this property. I see you have a for rent sign in the front yard. I'm actually more interested in buying it. Do you have interest in selling it? And here's the thing. You'll notice over time that a lot of landlords 
don't think they can sell a property for whatever reason. So they decide to just rent it. And I would say that if I were to ask 20 landlords that have a property for rent, if they have interest in selling it, one or two of them says, yeah, I am interested. Make me an offer, Dave. And that's what we do. So guys, Batch Leads is incredible. I absolutely love this software. I want to encourage you all to take advantage of the 1,000 seller or buyer leads. So again, use code Dave when signing up, or you can use this link and I'll put this link on the screen for you all right now. Uh, it's batchleads.io forward slash Dave. Not only does this give you a seven day free trial of the product, but you also get a thousand seller or buyer leads for free. So, I mean, I even have some students that will just take advantage of the seven day trial, go in there and they'll snag those leads, but they often end up staying because of all the amazing features that you get. You get the ability to search nationwide properties. And here's another cool thing. This is a property that I just got under contract the other day. Three Canterbury Drive out in St. Peter's. I can search this property and I can see if they have any mortgages on it. Look at this. Two mortgages totaling 170000 The estimated value is 260000 It even shows me their equity. So don't you think that's going to be pretty valuable when I'm going and talking to the seller of this property? And I say... Hey, you know, I'd love to make you an offer on it. Um, what if I were to offer you $175,000? Well, I know they owe one sixty, dollars So that, that actually would be a pretty good offer in this case. I don't want to necessarily make offers below what they owe, but I'll tell you, in the thousand transactions that I've done in my lifetime, I've probably had 15 or 20 properties that I bought that the seller had to bring money to the table to sell it to me. So just because the mortgage may be above what you are willing to offer doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to get that deal. But this is really, really, really valuable information to have. I can also use this little thing to see a map view. I can see a satellite view and I can even drop my little man right here and I can even make this go full screen and I can see the property. The property is this one right here right here let's go up here oh, i'm all turned around where did it go i gotta back it up search oh here it is click there yeah but you can drop this on there and you can see it just like that so this is incredible not only can you do that but you can run comps you can see when they bought the property what they paid for it how much they're paying in property taxes annually, if it was listed and when and for how much and by who, if there's been any foreclosure or lien information, and then get a an inf get information about the owner profile. Guys, Batch Leads is incredible. Highly recommend it. The 3.0 is truly a game changer. This will allow us to drive for dollars. This will allow, allow us to virtually drive for dollars. They now have in-app click to dial. They already had bulk SMS. They've added the lead scoring, simpler tab names, and then, of course, the team plans and workspaces for those that have really, really big organizations that may have multiple virtual assistants. Maybe you just have a couple business partners and you all want to go in and you want to use it. Maybe you want to use it for different reasons. What do I use it for? I use it for motivated seller marketing. I try to find individuals that have vacant houses, absentee owned houses. Um, I always want to make sure that I toggle off on market. I don't like marketing to on market. There's an agent that's already convinced the seller that the property is probably worth more than it really is. And they just get in the way typically. So what I like to do is I like to toggle off the on market and make sure that I'm only marketing to off market individuals. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure they have at least 30 or 40% equity. And then I go after the divorces, I go after the high equities, I go after the pre-foreclosures, I go after the vacants, of course, I go after the absentees. Those are typically my bread and butter. All right, guys, I said 30 minutes, I'm at 42. I did pretty good. <laughs> so let's open it up for a quick Q&A. And guys, if you are not using Batch Leads, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is amazing. All right, I'm a couple... Uh, messages behind here, but that's okay. All right. Brandon says, what makes the difference? Oh, we already talked about that one. Fred says, how would you compare D for T between deal machine and batch? Here's the deal. I use both. As you saw, I'm running leads through deal machine 
and I skip trace them through batch and I've used batch driven a ton of times. Here's the deal. They're both great. Um, there's pros and cons with each. One thing I do like about batch driven, which now is batch leads is they give you an unlimited number of leads. Deal machine doesn't, they cap you, right? There are some pros with deal machine. Um, you know, as well, it's a great software. I'm a subscriber. I use it. Uh, but here's the deal. Now that we're, now that we have batch driven built into batch leads, it's going to allow me to have less softwares, which means less spend. So at some point we, we probably will make the switch to just exclusively using batch leads, but you never know. There are some cool use cases with, uh, with deal machine too. So that's a great question. Um, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about deal machine. I just, I just really like batch leads and now that they have the driving for dollars and the virtual driving for dollars built in. It's like, this is amazing. It's awesome. All right. Jason says, I think the difference between most services are the filter functions. And yeah. And then you're not wrong there. You know, some services have filter functions. Some don't. Uh, one thing I really like about batch is you can pull quick lists. You can pull the vacants. You can pull the absentees. You can pull the divorces. You can even pull cash buyers and you don't even have to do like a, like a county um, or a zip code, you can even go into the map, which is one of my favorite tools. Let's say I got a property that I got a good deal on. doesn't really make much sense as a fix and flip or a rental, but I can get a really good deal on it. I'm going to wholesale that thing all day. Well, instead of just going and pulling a thousand cash buyers and spending all that, you know, time, I'm going to just go like four or five or six streets around that particular property. I'm going to draw a square or a circle. And then I'm going to search cash buyers. And if I find five or eight or 10, that's more than enough. And I'm going to start calling or texting these individuals. And I'm going to say, hey, I got a deal on, you know, Maple Street. I see that you've bought something recently over on Pine Street. Do you have interest in another rental or fix and flip? And boom, you can do a deal just like that. You don't want to overthink it, guys. I love that. All right. Uh, let's see here. How would you compare D for D? I prefer batch. Yep. Batch is great. Is there anything I still need, uh, from my prop stream account now that I have subscribed to batch? Fred says, you know, Fred, I don't think so. Um, I subscribe to prop stream as well. Just like I subscribe to deal machine. I think that they're, you know, these services are good. They, they do have different sets of data and they're using different algorithms. So to me, as somebody who's doing a hundred transactions, or more a year, having more data does come in handy. And I'm also a coach, by the way, I love helping people get their first deal or scale their business to, you know, three, four, five deals a month. Love doing that. And sometimes if they come to me and they're not using batch or they're in prop stream, I need to be able to help them. So I subscribe to multiple of these for multiple reasons. But, you know, if you're just a small operator, I'd say if you're doing less than, you know, 15 or 20 deals a year, you don't need any other software. Batch is literally the all-in-one marketing and data platform. Now, here's the only caveat. Batch does have the options and the ability to create notes and to create tasks, but it's not really a CRM in my opinion. A CRM is really more of a place to get detailed notes, you know, detailed tasks, team management, um, phone system, which they have but not so much for the inbound and for having different, you know, people batch isn't really a CRM. In my opinion, it is the best marketing platform on the freaking planet earth on the face of the planet. But that's what it is. It's a marketing platform. I use a, a CRM called re simply or R E simply. It's got a little bit more, more, uh, it's got more tools for like automated follow-ups and things like that. And the ability to, you know, coordinate with my team. But when we add a lead into RE Simply, we're only adding warm leads in there. Well, how do we get those warm leads? We use batch to prospect to them and to market to them with cold calling and texting and direct mail, right? As well as building our own lists or pulling these lists, skip tracing and all the cool things we talked about today. So what a great question. Um, you don't probably need PropStream if you have batch at this point, you just don't, it's all there. It's awesome. Now, six or eight months ago, I might not have said that, but today it's there. It's awesome. All right. Adriana says, sorry, did you say the phone numbers are already scrubbed for the do not call this? What a great question. So in batch, whenever you are creating a campaign, 
they give you a couple options when you're creating that campaign to scrub out not only your internal do not call list, which we do, excuse me, because if somebody says, hey, quit calling me or don't text me or call me again, we don't. We want to respect the people that we're marketing to. But they also have the ability to scrub in or out the federal do not call list. And if you wanted to scrub that in or out, that's going to be your preference. We do most of the time, but there's certain scenarios where we won't. Most of the time we do. Um, so again, it does have those options in there. What a great question, question, Adriana. Jason says, what caller ID is used when making outbound calls to the seller from Batch? That is an excellent question. And honestly, I don't know how to answer that because I just started playing around with this last night. But I would imagine if you go into your preferences here, I know I'm not sharing my screen, and you go into either data management um, or SMS phone settings, there's probably going to be a way to make a number, a default for that outbound, I would guess, right? If not, it's just going to use a, it's going to use a random one. So I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, if I'm, I'm looking at my account right now and I'll actually here, I'll share this with you all just real quick again. Let's do batch leads. I'm in my phone number system here. And if you see, if I go to all markets, I go to all active numbers that are safe. I have 59 phone numbers in my system here. So if I were to click on one of these numbers or what does this little button do? Oh, I can send a text message from that number, as you can see here, which is kind of cool. You can add in your, your phone number and you can add in that. So you can do that that way. Um, that is a great question. And in fact, I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I'd imagine that there's a way in that one of these settings in here to make a default number. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You know, like you're just calling, you know, most of the prospecting that we do, they're not interested or they don't like our offer. I mean, this is a numbers game. And that's why they give you the ability to add so many numbers. Do I have any spam? Let's check. Nope, no spam. Love that. And you can even see difference between local and toll free. And you can go in and you can purchase numbers as well. Tons and tons and tons of options in there. What a great question. Bill Jones says, hello, everyone. Hello, Bill. Thanks for joining. He says, hey, David, I'm here in St. Louis and would like to see how I can be of service. I actually have a property under contract I'd like to discuss for JV or lead on private or hard money. That sounds great, Bill. I'd love to connect with you. If you want to send me an email, you can send me an email. I'll give you my email. It's david at householdeasy.com. Go ahead and send me an email about that deal and maybe I'll buy it from you. Maybe you can wholesale it to me or maybe we can joint venture or if if anything, I'd be more than happy to connect you with you know some of my lenders, my hard money lenders that I've worked with in the past. Uh, to help you get that deal done. Happy to help. Love helping guys and girls um, get deals, do their first deal, and of course, scale their business to doing even more deals. I love it. Fred says, I have private money to lend. There you go. F.Robertson at TX.RR.com. I'd connect with Fred too, guys. Absolutely. He's, it sounds like he's got some private money to lend personally. So connect with Fred. That would be great. Jason says, Dave, don't forget to mention that users... Can push campaigns from batch leads to batch dialer. Man, I'm so happy you mentioned that. Without downloading and uploading Excel sheets. What a great point, Jason. So let's actually demonstrate that just really, really quickly here. So when we are in batch leads and we go over to our lists area on the left side here, and they just added this driving route yesterday at like 6 or 7 p.m. It's so cool. But let's say I go into my list feature and I want to filter this and I want to say, hey, I want to include lists. And let's just say I go down and look at all my lists in here. I got all kinds of good lists in here. Let's say I want to say my St. Louis County zombie list. And I want to apply the filter. And then I click right here. And I only have 11 on this list. What a small list, but that's all right. I can go over here and I can select all. Actually, is that right? Yeah. And then what I can do is I can go to actions and I can click add to batch dialer. So if you have batch dialer, you can actually sync these together with an API code, which don't let that confuse you. It's nothing more than copy and pasting a little string of numbers and letters from batch dialer into batch leads. But once you do that, you can actually click this add to batch dialer and it'll push all this skip traced information from batch leads over into batch dialer. I have a batch dialer account too. I love batch. I'm pro, a pro batch user. 
phenomenal. And guys, check this out. I probably have some. Uh oh, what happened here? I type it in wrong. I think I typed it in wrong. There we go. Let's log in. I bet you I got somebody dialing right now. This is so cool. We can even watch them. So this is Batch Dialer. And I can go over here to my reports. Look, I have one active agent. We have 15 active phone numbers. If I were to go look at like the last, let's say the last four weeks, check this out. Here's the last four weeks. And we've made over 15,000, almost 16,000 cold calls in Batch Dialer. It's amazing. If I go look at my reports and I see a live, check this out. Let's see if I can't shrink the screen down just a hair. There we go. You can see that I have somebody on the clock right now dialing. And this is my this is one of my VAs, my cold callers. And they're calling leads right now from Batch Dialer. So you can actually push these leads from your list area into Batch Dialer, which is phenomenal. You don't even need Batch Driven anymore because the Driving for Dollars mobile app and all of these cool features here are getting pushed into Batch Leads. And all of them are actually here already, including the driving for dollars virtually. The only thing that's not here yet is the mobile app, which again, they've submitted it. Now nah, they're kind of waiting on Apple and Google to approve those. So, you know, give it a couple more days and you will have driving for dollars built in to your batch lead subscription. Jason, thank you so much for mentioning that. That is such a great point. Having the ability to push these leads into batch dialer is awesome. Now you can click to call like we talked about earlier. The dialer is really only valuable if you're going to be dialing two or three or four or five people at the same time. Now, I say four or five. We don't ever go that high. The most we're ever going to typically do is two or three. But if you do two, you're going to double the amount of calls you can make in an hour. If you do three, you're going to quadruple the amount of calls. Look at this. We have Rochelle on a call right now. I can even click here and listen in if it'll let me. I'm live streaming. So sometimes it gives me it gives me a bug when I'm live streaming here. But I can listen in, and I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to just go away from that for now. But you can listen in to the people dialing. So if you have people in your office, maybe you have virtual assistants like I do right now on the clock dialing, I can listen in. Now, what would be the purpose of listening in? Well, there's lots of reasons that you'd want to listen in. But the main reason is for me to listen in so I can help them become better at their job. I'm not going to listen in and then go yell at them for doing something stupid. I'm going to say, hey, I've been listening to you for the last 30 minutes. You're doing an excellent job. Here's a script that I think may help or let's make some tweaks to the script. Oh, and by the way, if the seller says this or has this objective, objection, say this. So it gives you the ability to do training in real time. And it also gives you the ability to listen in. You know, sometimes I may dial or my business partner may do some cold calling and we may listen in. And while one of us is on the phone with the seller, the other one's on the computer running comps and determining what a good offer number may be. So fantastic. Uh, Jason says, I love the barge in feature to take over a call. You know, I've never even used the barge in feature to, to, to do it, but I know what it is. It's cool. So what Jason is talking about here is if you are using, now this is batch dialer, not batch leads, but that's okay. Love batch. On the batch dialer, you can see those people calling. Well, you can listen in like we were just trying to do, but we're live streaming. It always throws a bug in the wrench here. Uh, but you can actually barge into that call. So what that means is I can actually be listening into that call. And let's say that the seller is on the phone with one of my virtual assistants and that seller says, hey, I want to sell this thing right now when can you come out and see it and if i'm listening i can barge in and i can say hey john i noticed i was just in the office and i you know my 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 assistant here was on the phone with you and i overheard that you're wanting to sell this thing hey i'm in town right now are you gonna be there tonight i'll come right now you're gonna be there in 45 minutes do you live there i'm on my way the barge in feature is awesome jason so thank you so much for mentioning that that is also a really 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 awesome tool so guys, I encourage you to take advantage of Batch 3.0. Phenomenal software. They are merged and batch driven with Batch Leads. They now have the in-app click to dial, which I demonstrated, but I'm live streaming. It doesn't work very well on the live stream. Virtual driving for dollars. You saw me driving for dollars. I added two leads. 
And I even skipped trace one of those leads right on this call. There's the Supercharged mobile app uh, coming out in just a couple days. Stay tuned for that. And if you already have batch leads, it'll just update once it launches, which is phenomenal. So you have driving for dollars built in at no additional cost. Lead scoring. This is your buy box, guys. If you are wanting to buy properties for fix and flip that are built after a certain year that are at least three bedrooms and above 800 square foot and have at least 40% equity, you can give those leads a, a higher score than the rest of the leads. So you can go and you can sort those leads and you can see the ones that are going to be the best type of properties to meet your buy box. But on the flip side of that is you can also see the properties that have negative scores that are you know too small, too old, whatever the case is, depending on what you are personally looking for. Love that. Simpler tab names, they just cleaned it up. They made it look a lot simpler and cleaner. And then, of course, merge those two products together, bringing you driving for dollars and click to dial. And then, of course, the team plans. I don't have a team plan. Um, I have some team members, but we can get by without that. But if you have a big team, and you don't want to have four or five. And this is why they did this. There was a lot of users that maybe had two or three or four accounts because maybe they're limited with a thousand texts a day. Maybe some of these individuals are doing land deals and other people are doing, you know, single family deals, or some people are using it for dispo and buyers list. Now you can separate those out. Or if you want to have more, the more ability to send more texts, you just create a second workspace versus having a second software. I mean, think about the benefits of that. If you have a second software and you go and you skip trace and you want to add those into the other software, the other account, you got to export that list and then you got to go and log out and log in and import that list. Well, now all of your leads, all of your skip tracing, it's all in one place and you can determine where, which workspace you want those leads to be accessible so you and your team can work them. I love it, man. It's awesome. All right. Myron says, do you know the exact date it's going to launch? The website's here. It's live. I believe you're talking about the app. Also, which features will be included versus ones that will be an add-on charge? They have simplified the billing. So if I go into my billing, let's see if I can view this here real quick. Transactions and invoices. Well, let's just do this batchleads.io forward slash pricing. I'll share my screen with you all. They have simplified. This is actually one of my, one of the things that I am very, very happy about is they've simplified their billing. So you no longer have all of the add-ons. Now, as you can see here, this, this is going to be your personal basic, your personal plus, your team basic, and your team plus. As you go down, you may not have all of these items on all of these plans. So you're just going to want to see what you get with certain things, but there is no more a la carte. Now, the only a la carte would be this here and you can fill your wallet. I got about $600 in my wallet right now. And this is going to be used for your skip tracing costs, your direct mail costs, and then your additional leads costs. If I can make that any bigger for you guys, you can read that, but that basically is just wallet balance. So the only a la carte will be your skip tracing, your direct mail, and your additional leads. Uh, but other than that, pick the plan that works the best for you. Now, I noticed last night that the click to dial wasn't available on this $99 plan. You have to be at the 300 or the 299 plan to do that, but you get the ability to drive for dollars. You get the lead scoring, and that's what I've always been at. I also like the the ability to, to get my skip tracing at a much more of a discount, you know, at, at, at 12 cents, which is phenomenal. Um, you can even get it down to 10 cents if you go into one of these higher level plans, which gives you more workspaces. So they have definitely simplified the billing, Myron. Um, there's no longer add-ons for SMS. There's no longer add-ons for um, the number of property leads. You're going to get, you know, five, 500,000 with the personal plus or 100,000 with the personal basic. And then the leads per month, you're going to get 10,000 or 15,000, depending on what plan you're in. They used to have a la carte billing for anybody that's aware uh, prior to yesterday. They changed it. They made it better. They add features and they cleaned up 
the billing. So I'm really thankful for that. What a great question. Um, so the exact date of the launch of the app, it's probably only going to take a couple days. It's Tuesday, September 13th right now. I wouldn't be surprised if um, an SMS is not on the personal plan. Jason is correct. The personal plan is really more for just pulling leads skip tracing those leads to then add into a dialer. Maybe you want to be able to use the app and the apps already. Here's the thing. They already have an app and I'll show you guys that real quick. So here's what the batch leads app looks like. Let's see if I can get my camera to zoom in on that. Oh, there you go. Oh, it does face ID to log in, which is super, super cool, but it's just going to show you guys. Oh, come on, get into zoom the ability to search a property. And then up here in the corner, wrong side, click that Whoop. oh oh it's not going to want to work but it shows properties inbox and search so again that new um supercharged mobile app is probably only going to take a couple days because i wouldn't be surprised if it if it's here by monday or tuesday uh they said you know within a week when i talked to some of the representatives over there uh yesterday and the day before about some of these new features um the ball is really out of their hands they submitted it to Apple and Google. So as soon as they approve it, I mean, it could be today or tomorrow, right? But you get that included. And when you download the Batch Leads app on your phone, you use the same login here as you would on your computer. And then they have Face ID. So once you log in one time, anytime you open up that app, it'll just recognize you. You're logged in. It's seamless. I love using the app when I'm out in the field. You know, the driving for dollars is going to be huge. Let's be honest. But if I'm out and I'm looking at a property and I want to see what they owe on that property, you know, yeah, I can ask the seller, but they may not want to tell me that information. Well, all I got to do is pull up the address on my phone and I can, I can see what they owe. I can see when they bought it. I can see what they paid for it. I can run comps. I can do all that from my cell phone while I am out in the field. So that is a great question. Um, let's see here. Ted says, David, Texas is a non-disclosure state. For MLS solds, does Batch Leads 3.0 give MLS solds in Texas? I think it does. What, Ted, what city, county, zip code are you in? And we'll look right now. We'll take a look. I'm happy to help. While you are sending me that over in the chat, I am going to share my screen. And I'm going to pull up the list search. And we're going to take a look. We're going to find out together, my man. Uh, $200 difference in order to get the lead score feature. Is what Myron says. Yeah, but it's not just the lead score. You're getting a lot of different features. You're getting the um, click to call, which is huge. Because before yesterday, you could not call from Batch Leads. You could only text or send mail. That's huge. You get the driving for dollars. You get the lead score. Um, and you get, I believe, the virtual driving for dollars. So you get a ton, a ton of features in there. All right. So you are in Bell County, Texas or Belton, Texas. Let's just do, let's do uh, Belton... Let's see here, Belton, Tex. And really the, the $99 plan, guys, that's really just like trying to mimic, you know, just basic data. That's what it's, it's what it's, it's get, giving you the ability to pull lists. So you don't need prop stream. You don't need list source. You can go pull your list. It's not really designed for people wanting to do marketing. That's going to be on, you know, the, the next plan up. All right. So here's Belton, Texas. Um, I'm just going to click on one of these random leads here. Like, let's go to 3830 South Lake Drive. Let's go look at the comps. So here, here would be the, oh, that's a beautiful home. Look at that, man. I want to move to Belton, Texas. This is awesome. So if I go over here to the comps and I want to narrow this in, let's see if I can look at active and pen, get rid of the active and pending 12 months, one mile filter. And it doesn't look like it's showing any in this area. So again, some areas are non-disclosure. So it just it's going to depend. So that's Bell County, uh, or that was Belton. Let's try Bell County and let's try another one. So it just it's going to vary. Um, B what is that? B E L O oh, Bell County. That's what I wanted. Bell County, Texas. Here you go. And usually it's by the county, not the city, that the records are there. And it could have just been that that one was. You know, didn't have any comps as well, too. But let's just try one more and find out. It This one does. Look at that. So that last one might have just been not enough criteria or too small of the criteria for it to work. But when I'm searching here in, this is uh, 408 East Orion Drive, Keelan, Texas. 
and I searched Bell County and I just clicked on one. Let's click on another one here. If we go into 7-Eleven White Hawk, right? And I go into my comps area here and I scroll down. This is without even me filtering anything. It's given me a ton. So boom, just like that. Look, you got comps. Here's another really, really amazing feature, guys. Check this out. They, You can actually see the pictures of when the property sold last, assuming it was listed. Now, I'm showing sold, active, and pending here. So I typically take out the active and the pending. There are use cases for pendings and actives, but generally speaking, sold is, is the main data that you're going to want. I don't typically care about bill within 10 years. I don't typically care about 12 months. I try to narrow that down even less to six months. And then the most important thing is, is one mile is like, way too far in a, in a densely populated area like this, I typically take it to a quarter mile. So that's it. That's It's that simple to run comps. Now, I only got a couple here. Looks like I got three. So if I wanted more, I could do a couple things. I could take this to 12 months. I could take this to a half a mile. Um, I could even make my square footage a little bit bigger if I wanted to do plus or minus 30%. That may give me another, oh, look at that. That gives me another three or four comps. So you are able to use the comps in the non-disclosure states, it's just going to vary county by county. So whenever it comes to the 11 non-disclosure states, Jason says, I use it for Texas. Awesome. Love it. Love it. When it comes to the non-disclosure states, it really matters on the county. It's county by county. So this particular county has the data, and this is Bell County. The other one you said was Belton. Let's just try Belton one more time because I'm curious. I might have clicked on one that just didn't have enough criteria or enough properties in the area so let's go up here where there's like kind of a, a bunch of them like this one here and let's click on details and let's see if this one does and if i scroll down yeah there are comps right here so the first one i clicked on was just a property that was just unique it was far off there wasn't any sold or any comps within that vicinity so yes you can use this for both bell bell county as well as belton and I can go in here and I can look at the pictures of these comps, guys. Look at this. This is this is the most incredible software and tool for any real estate investor to determine how to make the right offer, how to market to motivated sellers. You guys want to see my favorite place to market? What I do is I go in and I do like St. Louis County. And then I click search. And I think St. Louis County had 378,000 properties. Look at that. This is the St. Louis County. Now, St. Louis City is its own county. It's crazy. I think I think St. Louis and Atlanta are the only two cities in the entire United States that the city limits is its own county. Crazy. Why do they do that? I don't know. But St. Louis County is going to be all the county minus this little bubble right here. And there's 378,000 properties. Well, if I was new and I wanted to start marketing to the St. Louis County area, here's what I would do, guys. I'd go in. First and foremost, I want my MLS status to know. I don't want on-market properties. Agents have convinced the owners that the property is worth more than it is. So I don't want that. I want to go directly to the seller. I don't want the agents getting in the way. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my equity and I'm going to put my equity, not dollar sign, but percentage, my equity percentage. And I'm going to put that at a minimum of 30, 35, 40, maybe even 50 in some cases. I'm going to use 35% in this scenario. Why? Well, it's simple. If I'm going to market to sellers, I want to make sure that they're going to be able to accept a discounted offer. In fact, I might even take this to 40%. If they can't accept a discounted offer because they owe more than I'm willing to pay, well, that doesn't really work for me right? I want to make sure that they can accept that offer. They need to have equity in the property. So look over here. You have a little legend in the middle here. I want to make sure that my properties are off market. I want to make sure there's at least 30 to 40% equity in the deal. And then next, I'm going to probably go to my property as vacant and I'm going to click apply. And this is going to give me 8,000 properties. Now, if that's too many for you to pull and pay to skip trace, I get it. That's going to be a big number of leads. So one thing we can do is we can go into the filter area and we can start minimizing this. So check this out. I don't like buying properties that are less than two bedrooms. I don't like buying properties that are less than 750 square feet because you're essentially buying sheds when they're like 400 square feet. And a property that's 400 square foot still has a kitchen, still has a bathroom, still has a roof, still has a plumbing stack, still has an HVAC. 
these things are not going to be much cheaper to repair or replace on a three bedroom house than they are a one bedroom house. It's going to be the same cost, right? So I, I typically like to weed out the small and, and, and the tiny properties. Another thing I, I could also do, well, let's see what that does. Just by adding in two bedrooms with the minimum of 750 square foot, I'm at 8,600, I think that is, 8,800. If I click apply, that's going to take me down to 7,600. That takes away 1,000 leads just like that. Here's another really cool thing, ownership info. Guys, do you think if somebody buys a house today that they're going to be a motivated seller tomorrow? Come on, that's not going to happen. It's going to take a seller typically one to two years minimum for them to be motivated enough to sell it at a discount. So one of the things I often like to do is put my years of ownership at three or four or five. Let's take it to five and see what happens. 7,600 leads, you add five years of ownership on the minimum. I don't care about the maximum, but the minimum. So 7,600, add that filter in there. Uh-oh. Apply. And that goes from 76 down to 2,700. If I was if I was on a, a Zoom call with a new student in St. Louis, Missouri, I would say this 2700 right here will be a great place to start. Off market, vacant properties with equity, okay? That aren't less than 750 square foot and have a minimum of 2 bedrooms and have been owned for at least 5 years. Here's your I think this is called a legend or your criteria right here. So if I wanted to take some of these off, I just click the little minus sign and then I click apply and it's going to add, it's going to redo my criteria. But this 2,700 leads right here, guys, I'm confident that if I pulled these leads and skip trace these leads and text or call these leads, I could get a deal or two out of that. Just like that. Could be a rental, could be a fix and flip. Maybe it's a wholesale, right? So there is tons and tons and tons of opportunity with this platform. I love it. All right. Guys, I got to run. I got time for one or two more questions. Jason says, I use it in Texas. And we showed Ted right here that you can you can pull the MLS comp data in Bell County as well as Belton, Texas. And again, this is going to be specific to the zip code, not the state. 11 states have non-disclosure. But really all that means is it gives the county the ability to disclose or not to disclose. Or the other, oh, I'm so bad at math. 39 states. It's all public. Good question. Uh, Ted says, great. Awesome. And then Jason says, it's a studio house. LOL. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. If a house is 750 square feet or more and it's a, it's a one bedroom, I can make it a two bedroom. No problem. But if it's 490 square feet or 430 square feet or 560 square feet, it is very difficult to make that a two bedroom. And I don't like buying one bedrooms. I don't like buying studios because you, they're, you know, they're hard to flip. You're not going to collect very much rent on those properties. And again, the kitchen in a one bedroom house is going to cost relatively the same cost as a two or three bedroom house. So you might as well try to get as much value out of the property as you can. I stopped buying one bedrooms and houses less than 750 square feet years ago. You can do whatever you like. I'd suggest you stay away from those two. I don't like it. It's, you don't make any money on those wholesales or those flips. They're just not worth it to you. Bill says, I get the property info over to you this evening. Awesome. Bill, send it over. Guys and gals, thank you so much for attending. Batch 3.0 is phenomenal. I cannot wait for the mobile app to be out here in the next couple of days. You can already start virtually driving for dollars. You can lead score. You can click to dial. Um, you can create team workspaces if that's what you want to do and you have a big team. Uh, they cleaned up the billing. They cleaned up the tabs. They cleaned it all up. They made it awesome. It's so awesome. So guys, thank you so much for attending. And again, if you want to use the link, David or bachelors.io forward slash Dave, not only do you get a seven day free trial guys, but you get a thousand buyer or seller leads included with that free trial, or you can go directly to bachelors.io and just use code Dave, D-A-V-E. And uh, it's just going to be free leads. Why wouldn't you want to do that? It's amazing. So guys and gals, I got to run. Thank you so much for attending. Hopefully you are as excited about Batch Leads as I am, especially this new version 3.0 where they have merged Batch Driven into Batch Leads. It is a game changer. 
And you guys all have a great rest of your day. And Bill, I'll be looking for that email, buddy. Send it over. Let's do a deal together. Signing off, guys. See you later. Mm-hmm.